Hey guys, so some of you ask about um, my makeup routine, so I'm just going to do like a quick little fast forward video of what I do on a daily basis. It's pretty simple. Um, I've been trying to use mostly natural products, um, slowly finding the right things. Um, some stuff I'm still using the, the bad stuff, but I'm doing my best and um, yeah, hope you like. Okay. So I usually mix like a little moisturizer and foundation together to create like a little tinted moisturizer and just dab it on. It's light, it's a little gray outside, but you get the, hopefully you can see me. I love this, like La Roche Posay. It has use you, you, you. Oh my goodness, um, UV protection, <laughs> thirty. So I usually layer that under anything that I'm wearing, um, or just mix it together, and it's really like dewy. Um, and then next, I use the Elia True Skin Concealer. anywhere there's redness. I just got one of these and it is as good as everybody says. I usually used to do it with my fingers, but it's kind of nice not, not have these like crazy long nails, not to stab your, stab your eyeball out. I don't know about you guys, but this year I had so much eczema around my lips and eyes. I still have a little bit of redness, so definitely another reason why I switched to natural stuff, especially this that first layer that you put on your skin. So, okay, getting there. Um, next I would do a bit of bronzer. I'm still using my tried tested NARS. I just tinted my eyebrows this morning, so they're a little crazy. Very bold. Curtis was like, it's happening. I usually do it every like month or so when they're fresh they're a little dark but it fades off pretty quick uh, next I'm gonna do next I'm gonna do this um, pixie cheek gel super natural looking and I always like more like of a moisturized like dewy look because I have pretty dry skin so if you have oily or skin, you might want to use more powders and stuff, but I love this stuff. Kind of like almost acts like a highlighter. I don't usually like, I don't usually do anything in a particular order. Um, if I'm doing like a bigger or heavier eye, sometimes I will do that first and then do the, the base, but it's only on like very special occasions definitely not during the lockdown and then i will use my glossier highlighter or brow bone you can redo a little bit of the eye stuff after Don't want to get it like under your eye because you want that a bit more matte. Sometimes I'll do like a bit of Jane Airedale um, pressed powder 
just like on very minimal areas like under the eye like t-zone you get a little shiny sorry if i'm talking quiet i don't do these very often i'm not a tutorial pro um and then what else do i do eyes so I usually do something pretty natural on my eye, but maybe I'll do something a little bit more fun for you guys. Um, I'm trying to find some of my stuff. Actually, let's just do stick stick to natural. I'm gonna do my RMS um, cream. See the nails? Little, little tricky. See, get it everywhere. You could, you could use a brush for this too, which you could always, that would be probably easier. This is actually like a nice, like smoky, called seduce. So you can go through. side got a little crazy. Make sure everything kind of goes like up. Pull the eye up. Pull the face. <laughs> Pull the face up. It's looking good. Cool. <clears throat> I always have to curl my eyelashes because they're really straight. So try not to like, it's hard not to use like the mirror or the phone. Which one? This is not a, uh, this is actually a little bit of a scary eyelash curler. get as close to the mirror as I usually do here. I'll try this. Ah, I haven't put makeup on in like <laughs> two weeks. So I feel like this is a whole new experience. Um, I'm not, I usually use like this, um, Sienna, Senna, uh, brow fixing gel, but because I just tinted it, tinted mine, I don't really, I'm not going to go too crazy. So I would just kind of maybe feather up. I also need to trim my eyebrows right now. They're bananas, but just kind of like pull out some of the, the baby hairs on the sides. But I think they're good. I wouldn't really do too much to those. And then let's do a bit of mascara. I'm loving, loving, loving this Shilbert, uh, Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Lashes. It's like super fluffy. I'm going to do a handheld mirror. See what it does to the eyelashes. It's so nice. Need some lip gloss. And I always like leave my mascara wand like just out for a minute. Like let it dry and then like go over it again with like kind of the dryer brush that's a trick um and then last i would do just a little like light lip color um let's see what i can find in here i love this like like um what are these called generation generation g 
lipsticks from uh, Glossier. This one's nice. It's like a really subtle kind of berry tone. You can do that. You can leave it. You could put a little bit of gloss over top, but I think I'm gonna just leave that today. Okay, and another coat. Sorry, forget I'm filming. Oh, I would probably do also, normally, I would usually do like a really soft swipe of shadow underneath my eye um, lower lid, like right in there, just like, I think makes it, your eyes look bigger, like that. Yeah, this just like gives you like some tackiness to really pump up those lashes. And I always put a mascara on my lower, but some people don't. All right, I think that's good. So. I don't know, it took me 11 minutes on here, which I feel like I wasn't that organized, so probably could do that in 10. And last, I would probably just miss my, um, mist it down with a bit of rose water. I always just feel like it makes it look, like sink into the skin and like look more natural. Voila, I will be posting some how-to hair tutorials next.